Hello, this is Matthew Miller from the ZDNet Smartphones and Cell Phones and Mobile Gadgeteer Blogs. I posted the last week that a new RC33 uh, firmware update would be coming to the Google Android, and I was actually sent a test Android, which should have gotten the update earlier than my personal Android, and it actually has appeared. So I just kind of wanted to run through some of what you'll find in the new RC33 update. So first, let's just uh, go down here to settings real quick and I'll just show you about the phone. And there's actually an option here now for system updates. So you can actually tap that in the future and uh, update over the air, which is not, there's no updates right now because it's brand new. So as we scroll down here you'll see uh, there's the firmware version 1.1 and you can also see down at the very bottom there's the RC33 version. Okay, so what is new? Um, as I said, automatic check for system updates is included. There's an icon here that you can see. Voice search. So here we have we now have Google Voice Search. Allow Google to use your location to improve your search results. Yes. And now you would just speak your search. ZDNet. And I'm quite a ways away, but it shows that it's working. Oh, and it picked up my whole sentence. So let's uh, in and out. Let's just actually go back. ZDNet. CVS? Not quite. As I said, I'm about uh, over a foot away from the microphone, so let me just try one more time and I'll do it closer. ZDNet. Now let's see if it picks that up. There it is, ZDNet, and it picks it up. So we now have Google Voice Search. Now let's see, what else do we see here that's new? And you can also instigate the Google Voice Search by pushing the, uh, the search button. And as you can see, Voice Search comes up there as well. The big other change is the uh, in the Maps. So let's tap on Maps. And now if we look at the bottom menu, you'll see there's an option now for Latitude. So let's say Join Latitude. And then there's the uh, Privacy Agreements. I'll go ahead and agree and share. Now I'm already logged in with a Gmail account on this device because that's the way the G1 is set up. So it should log me in and load up my friends on uh, on my Latitude account associated with my Gmail account. And there we go. And there's uh, some of my friends, some of my request, pending requests for people. So if I was to uh, actually go to myself and select myself you can uh, change some things here and as you can see you can show yourself on a map change your status change your photo and edit your privacy settings I go to show the map there I am I can uh, tap on the arrows and see other people as you can see there's Kevin and Judy around the country so that's uh, latitude which is pretty cool Nice to see. Uh, another thing that was supposed to be in there, and I haven't seen it, I haven't played with it much yet. Ability to save photos by, uh, or files by tap and hold. So, let's just go to uh, images here. In the Google images, I'll just pick the default. Um, just type in CDNet. Should be a logo or something for ZDNet. Okay, so here's some images, and if I tap and hold on it, open, open, save link, share link. Still don't see the. Uh, oh, there it is, farther down. Save image or view image. Okay. And I think that's all that's in this latest release. Um, just a few fixes, supposed to be uh, some updates and stability and things like that. Um, 
let me try one last thing that I don't think is in there, but I would like to see. Anyway, he's looking at the applications. Is there any ability to save uh, application to a SD card? Uh, see, you can see this is the first time I've run this, so I'll accept the uh, Android market. Let's go to <clears throat> all apps. I'll go to the most popular one. I love Shop Savvy. Install. Okay. And also, as you can see up here in the notification, there is a Google Latitude uh, sharing request that appeared as well. I should also show that uh, Shop Savvy was downloading in my notifications. I don't see that right now. Your shop savvy being downloaded. Unfortunately, where I live is outside of the 3G zone. Where I work, I'm in 3G, but 3G in Washington State is limited right now to uh, to King County, it seems. So it's um, still downloading shop savvy just about there. I doubt it will give me the option to install it to the uh, to the card, but. Uh, Let's see, installing now. And open. I would really like the ability to save to a card because on my on my personal G1, I am constantly getting uh, low memory warnings. But that's a look at the updates for now. If I find anything else, I'll share it with you. Uh, primarily, voice search, uh, Google Latitude and Google Maps, uh, system updates over the air, and some stability fixes. So there's a look at the RC33 update for the Google G1.